What is up, you guys? Welcome back. I hope that you're all doing well. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Carmen. I'm a professional makeup artist. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my thoughts on all of the products that I have tried in 2022. The best, the worst, all of that. And also, you know, it's not only products that were new on the market, but also products that were on the market for some time, but I just wanted to try out. So if this sounds good to you, then please keep on watching. But before we get into it, don't forget to subscribe it would mean so so much to me if you would decide subscribing and joining this wonderful family that we have here on this channel also please don't forget to like this video if you enjoy it and if you find it helpful it also helps me so so much if you press the like button before we jump into the video i just wanted to preface this by saying that if i do not like a product that you love please do not hate me or you know be very offended by it because makeup can be very personal and for Unfortunately, we are all different people and aside of the fact that we have different skin types we also have different preferences and different expectations in a product and sometimes if a product will work well for someone it might not necessarily mean that it will work well for every single person on this planet okay so let's keep this in mind moving forward with the video let's take everything with a grain of salt so before I actually dive into the products I wanted to take a moment and thank Cecenia for sending me three beautiful dresses. I really hope that's how you pronounce the name because I'm I'm so confused sometimes with some names and I might butcher them and I'm sorry if I did but um, anyway thank you so much for sending me these beautiful dresses. Cecenia is a website where you can find dresses that are affordable and I feel like their website is mostly about the bridesmaid dresses and if you're getting married I really think you should just take a look on their website because they have really beautiful styles and what's the most important aspect in my opinion is that you can get different styles of dresses in the same color. It's a pretty big deal and again in my opinion because not all styles fit everyone or their preferences so if you're getting married if you have bridesmaids and you want them you know to feel the best in their dress and to love their dresses then maybe take a look it's not sponsored but I really was impressed with the quality of the dresses again they're pretty affordable they're not you know the cheapest but not very expensive as well they also have some wedding gowns again not very expensive I love the the boho style ones I think they're super pretty and another thing that I wanted to mention is that you can get all of their dresses fitted to your measurements so you send them your measurements and they do the dresses according to your body which is super important because I personally <laughs> bought a lot of things online that I had to go to the seamstress and just you know modify adjust because they wouldn't fit me perfectly so um yeah all right let's get to the products now okay let's start with foundations I'm gonna go from worst to best and the first one is the Patrick Ta cream foundation and finishing powder duo and honestly I had such high expectations for this product I really hope I'm not blinding you because it's a reflective packaging but anyway this is the product here and again my expectations were just so high and I was just so disappointed this looked horrible on me it just gathered in all of my pores it accentuated every single imperfection it was a disaster and it was made worse by the powder and the same product so yeah I really thought I was getting you know a very good deal but unfortunately I wasn't so um, yeah this really didn't work out for me okay this isn't the shade fair too by the way if you guys are wondering let's move to the next one the Charlotte Tilbury beautiful skin foundation this one was not like the worst foundation ever but it was so heavy that I couldn't bear wearing it on my skin doing the wear test for two days was honestly so uncomfortable for me I just felt the need to go wash my face so many times and also it just looked very heavy cakey and and uh, yeah very makeupy on my skin so it just it it doesn't mesh well with my skin unfortunately again this is not like the worst foundation that I have ever tried I just don't think it's worth the hype it didn't work well in my skin my skin is also super finicky if you're new here my skin is combination really 
oily on the forehead, sides of my nose, dry here in my mouth area, especially here. Yeah, very acne prone as well. So uh, I also felt that this broke me out. Another aspect. And uh, yeah, it might be the Hollywood Flawless Filter in it, I guess. Anyway, moving on. Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. I love Hourglass as a brand, but this for me wasn't the best. Again, my skin being so finicky. It was better than the Charlotte Tilbury though. And I wouldn't put this, you know, on the on the bad spectrum necessarily because it looked okay-ish, but I wasn't very pleased with how, you know, it, it looked at the end of the day, if I remember correctly. I wasn't impressed. For me, this wasn't worth the money, to be honest. I was like meh you know about it kind of that's that's the general feeling <laughs> the next foundation l'oreal true match serum this has been all over the internet and uh, it's for a reason it's actually a very beautiful product i just love how it looks on my skin when i first apply it but unfortunately because it has so much alcohol in it it cracks on my skin at some point and again this is extremely beautiful and if you do not have the same problem as i do with products that have a lot of alcohol in them especially you know i'm talking mostly about foundations it's uh it's because of the alcohol it cracks on my skin if you don't have a problem with it then you are going to love this i still love it i just don't like how it develops towards the end of the day because of the fact that it cracks all in all it's a very beautiful product makeup forever hd skin foundation this one again very beautiful love it for events love it applying it on my clients but again because of the alcohol it cracks and it did crack pretty badly in my review i was actually having quite a lot of issues with the acne here in this area and uh, again this is another one of those very beautiful foundations it also lasts very well but unfortunately because of the alcohol because of my skin my finicky skin that annoys me so much it cracks so i still think again this is beautiful amazing product makeup forever almost never disappoints in my opinion but the alcohol just doesn't work well with my skin overall and the last foundation that i'm going to talk about in today's video is the nars light reflecting foundation and this is absolutely beautiful i love it in my opinion this is the best foundation that i have tried in 2022 it's really beautiful on the skin and for me it's really difficult finding something that works well with my skin i also have had it with me in Spain. I wore it a lot also on the New Year's Eve party and uh, yeah nothing much else to say. It's uh, it's beautiful. It works well with my skin. Not a lot of foundations do so when I find something that does it's a, it's a keeper. Love it. Okay, let's move on to other face products. And I only, I'm not entirely sure, but this is the only highlighter that I have tried in 2022. Lisa Eldridge Elevated Glow in the shade Crystal Nebula. If you've watched any of my other videos, then I don't have to say anything about this product. I, I adore it. I love it. It's gorgeous. I feel compelled to use this every single time. The only thing that I don't like is that it's quite hard to travel with because the glass you know it's luxurious but at the same time it's super heavy and i have found that you know quite a lot of product gathers around the rim here yeah that's quite annoying because it can possibly leak yeah but overall the product that's inside is what matters and it is stunning gorgeous love it nothing much else to say about it let's talk about face palettes now i have two this one is from hourglass and it is the illum sheer color trio it has a bronzer a blush and highlighter and uh i was saying that that was the only one that i have tried like in like sing single highlighter not in the form of a palette but anyway <laughs> This formula is stunning. I love it so, so much. I was actually intending to buy this one a couple years ago, but they discontinued it right when I was about to buy it in a physical 
hourglass store i was in denmark i was working there and when i got to the store it was just like oh you know it's just recently discontinued god i was just so upset about that because for the longest time people have been talking about it on youtube and i was like okay i'm gonna get it it's kind of expensive i'm gonna wait a little bit and then when i wanted to buy it discontinued they brought it back and i ordered it out of the hourglass website which was really quick to deliver the product here in my country i was very pleased about that i did pay for shipping it was quite expensive but you know <gasps> I pay for shipping a lot uh, from the US, so whatever, I'm used to it. But anyway, more about the product, I love it. I find that the texture of cream products is just what I love the most. Some cream products are so-and-so, some I really don't like, but this thicker texture is the one that I prefer, that I find works the best, that blends the most, you know, beautiful on the skin. And the other face palette is also from Hourglass. It's uh, the Elephant Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked Palette. And this one, again, I really love. I also traveled so much with it since I got it. Every time that I traveled, I just took this one with me because I don't only use it on my face, I also use it on my eyes. I do have to say that I am not the biggest fan of the highlighter in this palette for the face. I use it a lot on the eyes though, so you know, I still use it. This is really beautiful. I definitely do not regret getting it and I got a lot of use out of it, even if it's not like if you cannot see that, but I promise you I use it a lot. If you've watched any of my other videos, then you know I am obsessed with this product, the Matchstick in the shade Amber from Fenty Beauty and I've used so much of it. If you warm this up on the back of your hand and if you, you know, apply it in that manner, you are going to love it. I'm not entirely sure that you're gonna love it if you have very very dry skin but for me this is stunning and uh, I've also used it on my clients as well. It's definitely one of those products that I wanted to get for a very long time. I got it and now just I cannot live without it. Every time that I do my makeup you know for like a date night, not necessarily for every day, but like special events, date night, if I want to add, you know, a bit more pizzazz to my look, if I want to look more snatched, then I'm going to use this one. The Cream Contour and Powder Duo in the shade She's Statuesque from Patrick Ta. I really love this. Formula of, um, of the contour is not... Uh, the thickest I mean comparing it to this one because I, I like the formula of this more but this is quite sheer and beautiful and buildable at the same time and the bronzer is also beautiful very beautiful shades great shades for light skin definitely so uh yeah nothing much to say i also use this one a lot since i got it alongside this one and i love that you also get a powder bronzer here so um yeah very nice product let's move on to blushes now and i have here one of the most hyped up product on the internet the glowgasm beauty light one in the shade pingasm from charlotte tilbury and i have to say that this is a very very beautiful blush it's quite reflective and uh it is very out there you can also use just a little bit of a product you know if if you don't want a lot on your cheeks sometimes i really go ham with the blush sometimes i don't but most of the times i do because i love blush anyway i feel like this is perfect for those of you that don't have a lot of texture in the cheek area because this is very highlighty so it has quite a lot of highlighter running through it and it is going to emphasize every single you know texture issue that you have here in this area so be aware of that but i also love to layer this underneath powder blush and it looks beautiful another thing is that i really hate the applicator i really wish it was just like a simple squeezy tube and just like i hate sponges on things in general other than that it's a really beautiful product is it worth the hype though honestly i'm kind of split like it's it's very little product for quite a steep price so uh, i'm kind of split i'm kind of 50 50 when it comes to this product it is beautiful but at the same time, I really don't know if it's worth the price. You tell me, what do you think? Another extremely hyped up product, the Rose Ink Blushes, uh, the Toilet Blushes, <laughs> if you will. 
the airplane toilet blushes like if this doesn't look like an airplane toilet to you then i don't know but since someone mentioned it in a video i just couldn't stop picturing it so it's like stuck branded in my brain and i just i cannot get rid of that image anyway this is in the shade fox glove and i have to say for me personally i think i'm gonna get a lot of hate for this because i know a lot of people love 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 these blushes but for me i don't know the formula is uh, on the thinner side and as i said i prefer a bit of a thicker formula when it comes to cream products sometimes i love it sometimes i don't i haven't used Use it too much because of that sometimes it gets patchy on me it might be my finicky skin but at the same time i'm just not impressed with the formula for me personally it's not anything special yeah i don't know it's okay but in my opinion for me personally it wasn't worth the hype i have here another patrick ta product and again a duo because he he just releases product like this which is actually a very good idea it's brilliant anyway this is the double take cream and powder blush and it's in the shade she's vibrant and to be honest i feel like i haven't used this one too much but it is because of the shade it's a bit out there i haven't dipped too much into it i think that maybe i should try some more neutral colors or some colors that are not that vibrant and very suitable for darker skin tones yeah that's my take on the patrick Ta blush not too excited about it maybe i should try you know other colors and see but speaking just you know directly from the formula point of view again it's uh it's more on the thinner side the cream blush so um i'm not the biggest fan of very thin formulas not that this is very thin but it's kind of sitting somewhere in the middle anyway let's move on to powder blushes and uh, i only have one so i have the sublime flush blush here from hourglass this is not you know something formula wise that i have only tried last year i love hourglass blushes the hourglass formula in general just speaks to my soul because of the luminous finish it's gorgeous i love it i just wanted to get this shade and and I wasn't disappointed. I wear this all the freaking time. If you would make me pick out one blush to use for the rest of my life, this would be it. And I'm not taking that lightly. I'm telling you for real. 2022 was the year that I finally tried the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder from Charlotte Tilbury. I know, crazy bananas because this has been around for such a long time. I don't know why. I just didn't feel very much compelled to get it. This is so worth it. I've used so much of it like you can see I made a you know pretty good dent in it I don't know if it's very visible on camera but I feel like I'm gonna hit pan on this very soon this is in the shade fair and uh, I really love it especially for blurring out the area here and on my forehead beautiful on camera in photos it blurs it mattifies it's everything that I want in a powder and I've been using it so so much since getting it and it it is actually a product that, in my opinion, it's definitely worth the hype. Let's move on to the eye products now. And the first one is the Rare Beauty Eye Primer. This is so nice. It's a product that I love, that I feel the need to use almost every time when I do my eye makeup, when I do makeup on other people as well. It's thin. It has a bit of coverage as well. And, you know, it, it does impact how well eyeshadows last but at the same time it's not too grippy where it just creates patches in the eyeshadow because sometimes that can happen with eyeshadow primers that are super grippy and i have found that happening a lot with the fenty beauty eye primer and it really bothered me it also made my eyelids really really dry it works very well that one for extremely oily eyelids but for me personally it it didn't work out so i just needed a replacement i got this one and i wasn't disappointed so it's, uh, it's definitely worth looking into if you want to get a new eye primer get this one i i think you're gonna love it the first palette i have tried in 2022 was the rose quartz palette from huda beauty and i have to say that the color story really spoke to me but unfortunately the formula just i i didn't like it too much i just feel like it's not worth the price 
price these feel you know a bit a bit cheap in my opinion i i just i don't know very powdery you don't get a lot of color payoff at the same time and yeah i mean i do not mind a lot of fallout and eyeshadows to be powdery if they're super blendable if they last very well which i didn't find that it happened with this palette i just was extremely underwhelmed with the formula unfortunately because as i said i really love the color story and yeah i just it's okay ish but honestly mm, the formula is just not the best so uh yeah it's um it's gonna be a pass for me i just i didn't use it much because of that because i was really disappointed especially in the matte eyeshadow formula. Patrick Ta Major Dimension 2 palette. I feel like a dumbass because when I did a review on this, I was just like complaining so much about the fact that this uh, plastic part is super flimsy and that it opens, but someone pointed out that it's only doing that because it's not laying flat on the surface. So when you hold it like this, of course it's gonna open. And I was just like complaining so much about it, but it was like kind of my fault. <laughs> I still don't like the packaging. I feel like it's super flimsy. I hated the cream eyeshadows in the palette, but the rest of it, I think it's beautiful. The eyeshadows are though a bit on the drier side, but I'm wearing it today actually. And I feel like the colors are perfect for green and blue eyes. If you want to make your eyes pop, get this palette. The glitters are also beautiful, not comparable to Pat McGrath, but they're beautiful. And uh, yeah, I really enjoyed using this palette. I, I used it quite a lot lot because again the, the colors suit my eyes very well and um, yeah I was definitely not disappointed much better than the Huda Beauty uh, formula in my opinion. Hindash Monochromance the outside looks kind of rough even though I didn't use this palette so so much. The cardboard is a good idea but I feel like I don't know it just it got ruined so quickly and I I didn't do much with it you know I didn't travel with it or anything like that but yeah it's um it's looking really bad already anyway this is the palette here beautiful color story and um all matte gradient Hindash is an artist and I think he used to paint and you can see you know you can see this in his palettes because of the gradient beautiful formula the mattes are exquisite very buildable and I feel like buildable is always good with any product because if you put a product and then it's it's just too much because it's too pigmented especially if you're a beginner you're gonna panic you are not going to know what to do so uh yeah we love buildable formulas here <laughs> I mean, I do, and I hope that you guys do too. Not much else to say. I did use this quite a bit here also on my channel. I did some looks with it. This can also be used on the face. So if you're a makeup artist, that's amazing. And uh, I really love these here for contouring. These actually do make for nice blushes. You know, you can combine the colors. And um, yeah, Hindash is an artist and you can definitely see this in his products. We have here the Mothership 10 palette, which is an experience to like open. I like to keep the outside packaging because I feel like it's super beautiful. But here is the palette if you haven't seen it. Again, I have a lot of looks with it. What I have to say, this was my first Mothership palette. And while I am in love with the glitters, the glitters are extremely special. And I feel like what Pat McGrath is the most known for, you know, the beautiful glitters. But at the same time, I did really didn't like the mattes. I mean, they're okay-ish. They're very much on the dry side. And sometimes I feel like they can get patchy and very hard to blend. I, I really had some problems with the first look, I, I believe, when I did uh, with when I did the three looks one palette with it. Yeah, they're okay. I can work with them, but I feel like with someone that's a beginner might really, really struggle. But again, this was my personal experience. This is my first mothership palette. But honestly, I was kind of disappointed because these are very expensive. I mean, let's be real, okay? And as much as I love the glitters, it would be nice to love the whole palette if you pay this price. So yeah, that's uh, that's my, my view. That's my standpoint here with this product. 2022 was also the year that I got the glam palette from Natasha Denona. This is a must. If 
if you love neutrals and honestly the perfect glam palette it has warm tones cool tones exquisite exquisite <laughs> nothing else to say perfect for a makeup artist as well um yeah again it's a must and uh, i really love it great formula the usual natasha denona formula that i absolutely love and uh, yeah not much else to say about it definitely not regret getting this one and also this year i got the my dream palette i was initially not going to purchase it because i got the glam palette but then i just you know thought about it and thought some more and i caped so i got the dream palette and i actually use this quite a lot i also packed it with me for the holidays for spain and i use it a lot i also used it for the new year's eve party you know to do my look and i used this shade right here which is a trio chrome if i'm correct i hope i am yeah beautiful palette again this will work very well for you if you have green or blue eyes amazing of course you can use it with other eye colors but i feel like green and blue will especially pop with these with these colors also what i love about it it has a black i just wish every single palette would have a good black eyeshadow in it like is it too much to ask probably 2022 was also the year that Lisa eldridge released her first eyeshadow palettes definitely do not regret buying these these have such a special formula so i have myth and cinnabar and just the, the eyeshadows are so creamy they're also interchangeable just like the natasha denona ones definitely a makeup artist kind of thought process you can see it here in these palettes. The packaging is super beautiful, super luxurious. I was honestly expecting that from Lisa Eldridge. It's very on brand. Yeah, very reminiscent of the vintage cigarette cases. And uh, again, the formula is amazing. I have a full review on these. It's, uh, it's different. I mean, the eyeshadows, they're not the same as, uh, you know, Natasha Denona or Pat McGrath because these are very buildable, very creamy. Natasha Denona eyeshadows are very pigmented right off the bat and also the metallics or the top coats and uh, the pearly finishes that she has are different from the ones from Pat McGrath because they're not as blinding, not as reflecting. They're, these are mature formulas that I feel are extremely good if you're a beginner, if you struggle with blending your eyeshadows and uh, yeah, again, very mature very refined very sophisticated at the same time at the very end of 2022 like right <laughs> at the end of december i have tried uh, products from fluoraces so i'm kind of on the fence if i should mention them here or not but just as a side note because i'm talking now about eyeshadow palettes i was extremely impressed especially with the engravings on the eyeshadow palettes and if you haven't heard about this brand yet and if you want to experience makeup that is taken to a whole nother level on the level of artistry you should definitely just take a peek on their website because i feel like their products are so beautiful i was actually really impressed with the formula as well but unfortunately because i have tried these right at the end of the year i haven't had much time to like play around with the palettes or use them too much but again, if you want to experience makeup taken to the level of artistry, then take a look. I'm just going to show you a palette. I haven't, you know, gotten it out of my collection, but I'm just going to open here and take it out. This is the Floral Engraving Phoenix makeup palette. And again, it's just another level. That's all I have to say about it. A mascara that I think it's really worth mentioning that I really, really enjoyed. Max Stack with the micro brush. I got the one with the micro brush and I really loved it. I think it's worth the hype because I know there was a hype going on with this product online. So yeah, definitely worth the hype. I really loved it. And uh, yeah, not much else to say because, you know, it's a mascara. So even though I got this lipstick at the end of 2021, I really wanted to mention it because because throughout 2022 this is the lipstick that I wore the most and this is Velvet Fawn from Lisa Eldridge and I really wasn't understanding why everyone was asking me if it broke it did like I used this for almost a year and then it just broke I think if I remember correctly in Spain so uh yeah it looks kind of rough 
But anyway, Bullet Fawn from Lisa Eldridge, the lipstick that I wore the most in 2022. Beautiful. I love the formula so, so much. I started out with Velvet Ribbon, this one, which is the most beautiful bright red. So gorgeous. It's blue toned, makes your teeth look whiter. And uh, at the end of 2022, I also got Velvet Duchess. And this is such a beautiful red as well. It's darker than Velvet Ribbon. Definitely do not regret buying it. Again, I love this formula and I feel like it should be mentioned in this video as well. Another lip product that I've used so, so much in 2022. This lives in my purse. This is the most comfortable thing ever. And this is the Essential Lip Balm from Jouer in the shade Rose. This saved my lips so many times. Sometimes when I wear even a normal lipstick that is matte, it just, it dries on my lips or I get this uncomfortable feeling that I have to put something hydrating. That's when this comes to the rescue because it's not like a normal normal balm. It has a very beautiful color and it actually looks like a shiny lipstick. A lipstick that I have tried in 2022, the Vive Modern Matte Lipstick in the shade 90s. I love the formula. I love the shade. It's a really nice lipstick and uh, very reminiscent of the 90s. I also got the one with the special packaging. I feel like this is uh, the cheetah print, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, yeah, very reminiscent of the 90s. And it looks beautiful, especially paired with Endless Cacao from Makeup Forever. And if we are talking about the artist color pencils from Makeup Forever, another special mention, even if I didn't get these in 2022, but... This is the, the pencil that I wore the most on my lips in 2022. Anywhere caffeine from Makeup Forever. Do I have to mention again Endless Cacao because it's in every single one of my videos. I adore using it on my eyes, on my lips as well. So uh, yeah, multitasker. We love a multitasker, okay? Anyway, this is kind of it for today. If there is a product that I left out mistakenly that I just forgot about, just, you know, hit me up with a comment, ask me, and uh, yeah, I'm just going to give you my opinion on it, or I can mention it in a future video. But I think it's more proactive if you ask me and I, I, I answer. Anyway, this is it for today. Thank you so, so much for watching, for being here. I appreciate having you here more than you'll ever know. Please don't forget to subscribe and press that like button if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Bye! <laughs>